Hello everyone, uh, Stepan here. <clears throat> I just finished round one of, uh, of a tournament here in Zagreb, Memorial Marko Damjanovic. And uh, I played a FIDE Master in, in round one uh, since I was just below the, the bottom of the, of the tournament list. So I was just below the middle of the list. So I, I was to face somebody from the top uh, and uh, my opponent was rated 23.72. So about 500 points higher rated than me, but I decided to play uh, without fear. I mean, I, I wanted to play a good game, uh, even though I stood a little chance uh, to, to hold. So uh, he opened with pawn to d4. And by the way, uh, during the game, uh, I, I don't know if you're familiar, uh, today the, the Croatian football team came back uh, to Croatia, so half a million people were on the streets of Zagreb. And after I finished the game, it was like apocalypse now on the streets. Oh, everything was full of trash and uh, beer cans and bottles and everybody was shouting. And to make it better, there was a storm uh, and uh, and rain was pouring down. So it was uh, quite a scene after I, I exited the tournament hall. But yeah, I digress. So d4, uh, I played the semi-slav defense, so I wanted to enter the semi-slav. So d5, c4, c6, knight f3, knight f6, and here she played e3. Now, um, usually in blitz games, I will play bishop f5, uh, sometimes even uh, bishop uh, to, to g4. And uh, I decided to play it safe and play my usual setup, so I went for e6. Uh, knight b to d2 is the main move, knight b to d7, bishop to d3. Now here, uh, taking uh, on c5, on c4, I'm sorry, I believe isn't that good because he can recapture with the knight and then get both knights uh, staring at the e5 square. That would be strategically much better for him, I think. So I played bishop to d6 and I know this position, so I, I knew what to play. Castles, castles, uh, e4, that's his main break, he has to play it, and they have to exchange d4, knight e4, knight takes e4, bishop takes e4. Now here I can either play uh, f5, which is a fairly aggressive move, but then against a stronger opponent, I'm sorry, against a stronger opponent, I didn't want to uh, tend to e6, which would be permanently weak. Uh, I can also play knight to f6 immediately, but I decided to play the uh, I think the best move c5 uh, and that's resolving a lot of central tension and uh, I mean it's allowing him to get a lot of play uh, on the h7 square but still I, I, I believe that I'm okay. After c5 uh, bishop takes uh, h7 doesn't work I think because after this uh, I think I can just go here and he has nothing so there's no Greek gift sacrifices here. So after c5 he played uh, bishop to e3. I don't think uh, taking on c5 would be good for him because I would take with the bishop and uh, perhaps even with the knight, I'm not sure. I think I would take with the bishop and uh, then to be able to get my knight to f6 safely. So uh, c5, bishop e3. Here I played knight to f6. Uh, he played bishop to c2, preparing to get his queen to, to d3 and to pounce at my h7 pawn, which uh, in conjunction with the bishop coming to, to g5, pinning my knight is very dangerous. So I had to react. Uh, and I played b6, uh, and after queen to d3, uh, I can't play uh, bishop to, to, to b7. I think that's losing. I had to play h6 to stop bishop g5. If after queen g3 I play this, then after bishop to g5, this simply doesn't work because he takes. And I'm just a piece down. Uh, so yeah. This is losing a piece down. So after queen to d3, I have to play h6. Here, uh, of course, he has he has a lot of options, and uh, I was looking at at several moves for him. I believe he he played the the best move, if if not the strangest move, and. I'm not sure whether I played correctly and uh, I, I thought about one more variation uh, during the game but uh, at this stage I decided that if he plays what he played knight to e5 I was simply going to capture and exchange the queens because even though I can develop my bishop to b7 I was always afraid of him playing knight to g5 and then he can take my knight with check. I don't have time to play uh, bishop to e4 once again. There are some tricks perhaps with bishop takes uh, h2, but I'm not sure. 
uh, and after bishop to b7 okay so this is what i was calculating i i took on e5 but after this after bishop to b7 knight to g4 i can play knight to e4 and i wasn't sure whether this is good or not i i was looking at this position and i was looking at f3 chasing my knight away and now f5 and i'm not sure what's going on here perhaps i'm okay but i really didn't want to find out so f takes e I think I would take with the bishop to gain a tempo on the queen, so let's say queen to d2, I would take the bishop here, and after I guess queen takes, I would recapture here, or perhaps not, perhaps even take here, gain a tempo on the dark squared bishop. So yeah, this does this does look okay. But it was really tough to calculate, and I after knight to e5, I just decided to play it simple. This seemed far too dangerous, because if this didn't, didn't work, this knight to e4, then... I would be losing, so I didn't want to risk it. So knight e5, bishop takes e5, uh, d takes e5, queen takes d3, bishop takes d3. And here, um, knight to d7 is a weird move. I had to play it, but uh, I was looking at knight to g4, getting a tempo on the bishop. And after bishop to f4, I think I would have to play h5 or something, so I didn't want to do that. Uh, knight e8 is weird, too weird. Knight to h7 is... Uh, equally bad i believe so i played knight to d7 and here i thought he was going to play uh, bishop to e4 immediately and i would play rook to b8 and after f4 bishop b7 and i was looking at this position so uh, i yeah this i'm not sure I'm not sure about this position, but after knight to d7, he didn't play bishop to e4, he played f4, and I was happy that I got to, to develop my bishop to b7. And here I, I thought I, I was worse, slightly worse, because he has the bishop pair and I have a stupid knight on, on d7, but I didn't think the position was losing and I was happy with how I played the opening considering my opponent's strength. So now rook a to d1, uh, rook a to d8, here he played a3, he's of course preparing b4 and... Uh, here um, I had some ideas of playing f6, but after f6 I'm not sure if that's any good. I believe he has to take, and now after I take with the knight, uh, I, I didn't want to have the weak e6 pawn once again. I'm not sure what he would have played, but uh, I, I wasn't sure about this position. And after a3 I was looking at this maneuver, knight b8, knight c6, and of course knight to d4 if he allows it. But I wasn't sure whether I had the time, but I still played knight to b8, which I think is uh, my first uh, real blunder of the game. Because now he played b4, and I don't really have time to, to play knight to c6, I would just lose a pawn, so I took cb4, ab4, and I played rook to d7. Here, of course, this tactic doesn't work, because the rook is defended by the knight, so he can't take. Uh, he played rook to d2, preparing to double as well, rook fd8, rook fd1, and here um, I just wanted to get out of uh, tactical problems with bishop h7 check, so I played king to h8. I, of course, I would have wanted to play uh, king to f8, but this position, well, okay, uh, I wasn't sure whether he was threatening uh, c5. Because this is what I was calculating, let's say, uh, okay, this is another move I was considering. Let's see, okay. Wait, okay, I will play uh, king to h8 as in the game. And he, this is what I was calculating. If here, uh, c5, I would take. <clears throat> if he takes with the pawn, I really don't have any problems. If he takes with the bishop, then I was looking at bishop e4. And uh, this position, I believe, is good for me. Uh, if he takes, yeah, this is just good. Yeah. An exchange up so i i <clears throat> so c5 wasn't a threat really yeah so king h8 he played b5 locking down the position which is of course a great idea because now my knight is completely useless on the b8 square and i played h5 which is just uh, ah, i completely missed that he has bishop g5 and uh, this is where I, i'm sure i'm losing so he played f5 of course I take, I really don't have any other move I think, so e f5, bishop g5, rook to e8, uh, and now bishop takes f5, uh, we exchange a pair of rooks, and here I believe I found I found a good move, uh, bishop c8, now he played, I, I think he shouldn't take, because my knight is covering the d7 square, so if he takes I'm good, and I even get to defend uh, a7 with rook c7, he played bishop e4, and I was happy here, bishop e6, he played bishop to d5, and here... 
I was planning to get my king uh, to f5, so I think I played a good move. I played king to h7, and after rook to a2, uh, I yeah I took on d5, so bishop takes d5, c takes d5, and uh, this is where I lost the thread uh, slightly. Well, not slightly. I went mental and just played a horrible move. Of course, you can see that the bishop can get to f4 and uh, attack both my rook and my knight if I take here. <clears throat> and I was calculating rook takes e5, nevertheless. And another move I was looking at was king to g6. And now he would have to play h4. And I was considering knight to d7, but I wasn't sure what happens after this. Now that I look at it, it's just good for me because I have f6 here, f6. Let's say bishop f4. Uh, I don't know, rook to d8. I'm not sure if it's at all useful for him to attack this one. Yeah, I, yeah, this was good. Uh, after cd5, I should have played king to g6. And if he goes here, uh, this, uh, this isn't so clear. Wait, okay, so let's say he, he defends like this. Knight to d7, uh, rook takes. Yeah, this isn't, isn't clear. Because he has this, um, yeah, this is a draw. I should have played this. Ah, horrible. Ah, ah. King to g6 was a good move. So after cd5, I didn't play king to g6, and I was in time trouble already. Uh, I had about seven minutes on the clock, so I really didn't want to spend them calculating. I saw a position in which I could uh, give up a piece for two pawns, and I went for it. So I took on e5. Of course, bishop to f4, uh, rook takes d5, bishop takes b8, rook takes b5, and now rook takes a7. And I'm not sure whether this can be drawn, but I wanted to go for that. Uh, so king g6, rook b7, uh, rook b1 check. Here I checked for a while. And until he played g3, and I thought this was uh, an accomplishment because I thought his king couldn't move, and I didn't see a clear way for him to win when his king is stuck on h3. So now rook b2, bishop e5, rook b3, bishop d4, b5, and now I have to move the pawn, uh, rook b6, check, f6, rook to b7, and now he is preparing to get his bishop here, so I have to do something. So king h6, bishop c5, and here I was... Uh, I wasn't sure whether I should play g5 or g6. I played g6. Uh, bishop f8 check, king g5, bishop e7. Yeah, and this is uh, just bad because I lose the pawn in any case. And uh, here I knew that I couldn't do anything anymore to save the position. I tried to, well, not trick him, but make him uh, make a mistake. So I played h4. I mean, I, at least I get to exchange a couple of pawns. Rook b6, double attacking my pinned pawn hg, hg, uh, king to h5, uh, rook f6, rook to e3. This is just busted. I, I just uh, played a couple of more moves and uh, after a while I resigned. Yeah, this is where I gave up because there's no more hope. Uh, yeah, in this position I missed that he can simply take with the bishop. Yeah, uh, so yeah. But still, you know, it's... Uh, it was an okay game. I was happy with how I played uh, up until knight to b8. Where, wait, okay, so here after a3, I think I should have played the move f6. And, uh, well, he has to react. If he doesn't, then I'm going to grab a pawn. So I think f6 what I should have, is what I should have played. And the knight to b8 was just a mistake, especially after allowing uh, b5 to be played in a couple of moves. Okay, so as always, I'm going to run uh, an engine check now. Uh, I always analyze my games without an engine, so let's see. Uh, d4, d5, okay, this I know. This is okay, you can see the evaluation, the evaluation on the right side of the board. Castles, castles, c4, d4, knight, e4, knight takes e4, bishop, e4, c5. Even though the engine says white is uh, slightly better, this is still theory, so I, I, know, I'm, I know I'm good. Uh, bishop, e3. This was a mistake, he should have played bishop c2. Okay, but I don't think there's such a big difference. Uh, so bishop e3. Uh, let's see if this works. Let's just confirm bishop h7. Yeah, this doesn't work. Bishop e3, knight to f6. I should have played f5. Okay, uh, so after f5, bishop c2, b6, queen here. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure about this position. So knight to f6. 
bishop c2, b6, queen to d3, h6 was the best move. Here he should have taken on c5, he played knight to e5. Uh, bishop b7, it does work. Okay, how? So bishop b7, a knight to g4, knight e4, yeah, f3, f5, it does work. I should have played that. Yeah. Okay, but after knight e5, bishop takes it. Yeah, this is better for white. d5, queen d3, bishop d3, uh, knight to d7 is the best move. f4, uh, bishop b7. Well, it's only uh, plus 0 0.7, so not such a, such a big deal. Rook ad1, rook ad8, a3 was a mistake. Yeah, I should have played f6. Ah! Ah, okay, yeah, f6. Uh, Knight b8, horrible, one and a half. b4, uh, c4, a4, rook d7, rook d2, rook fd8, rook fd1, king to h8 was a bad move. b5, uh, h5, ah, oh, horrible. f5, e5, bishop g5. Bishop g5 is a blunder, okay. Uh, rook e8, bishop takes f5, rook takes d2, rook takes d2, bishop c8 was a good move. Bishop e4, bishop e6, uh, bishop d5. This is almost equal. King h7 was the best move. Rook a2. Ah, oh, this was a draw. Ah, stupid side knot. If I had more time, I would have calculated it correctly. So bishop d5 was good. Cd5 was good. And now king to g6 is a draw. Okay, so king g6, h4, knight d7, rook takes, knight takes, yeah this is the engine line yeah this is just a draw yep all zeros king g6 but after cd5 i decided to sacrifice a piece or lose a piece so rook e5 bishop f4 yeah this is plus two yeah i don't have to look at this anymore this is just lost yeah, okay. Uh, well, not a good start to the tournament, but my opponent was much higher rated and I got to learn something. I got to play a serious game. We played for about four and a half hours, so a good game. And uh, tomorrow I'm playing, uh, well, a weaker player than I am, so I hope that goes well. Uh, thanks very much for watching and I, I hope you got something from this game, especially if you play the Semislav, so you should be prepared for the E3 lines. And uh, stay tuned for more chess. Thanks very much. Bye.